So y'all, I guess I should start over and like do the real thing. Hey y'all, this is Tamika the face behind. Hey, the best way to celebrate that is to do a giveaway. So definitely follow me on Instagram at HR with three Y's and you can definitely get updates Let's just start with the fact that your girl tired. I already had a long, long day at work and more like a recovery day at work. But anyhow, it was not easy. Work has not been easy for the past few weeks or so, past couple months. And I saw a story on the news that I'm like, my people need to know this stuff. My community, the hey HR lovers, they got to know this stuff. So give me a minute. I already got off from work, had to do some stuff with my daughter. Let me get ready and look cute and tell y'all all about it. So as I'm going to tell y'all all about it, um, y'all just got to see what's going on in my house. That y'all right here cleaning her car, honey. She getting it up. You tell the people what's up. We real, real tired right here. We get it done. If y'all want to do a YouTube channel, this kind of stuff you got to go through. I mean, it's like, well, whew, 8.30 at night. But I'm recording because y'all need this information. Let's see, I'm going to just give y'all an old neutral lip. Don't look for nothing too extravagant. I clean up real quick. At least try to get the shine up my nose, you know what I'm saying? Because y'all got to know this stuff. Okay, now let's go get the camera ready in my office. So y'all, real quick, if you've been on my lives recently, then I've been telling you about all kinds of great stuff Hey HR has in store. So the first thing is, did you guys notice? that your girl is almost at a thousand subscribers. All right, all right, yay! But I couldn't be done without you guys. So when I get to a thousand, the best way to celebrate that is to do a giveaway. So definitely follow me on Instagram at HR with three Y's and you can definitely get updates, mainly in my stories of the giveaways. I really am not looking for this to be an opportunity to get a whole bunch of followers who probably are gonna fall off later just might not be interested in my material and might just be in it for a giveaway. I only want to give it to the faithful few who are truly here to be a part of this community. So definitely follow me in, in IG and I want you guys to definitely pay attention to my videos because I'll be doing inserts like these so that you'll know about the giveaways. I think the best time to get those updates is just joining on these lives on Thursdays. <laughs> so y'all. I guess I should start over and like do the real thing. Hey y'all, this is Tamika the face behind. Hey HR. Okay, seriously, on some real stuff y'all, you gotta be so careful about the company's culture. And I'm gonna tell you that I've been in so many different cultures with so many different organizations that I realized that that is the biggest thing for me. I mean, when we think of company culture, I mean, for me, when I think of company culture, I think not just are we celebrating birthdays, but how are we celebrating birthdays? Are people happy about that? Not are we doing a Christmas party, but are people really realizing that the company is giving back to them? 
with the Christmas party? Well, when we have a meeting, is everyone giving their true opinion or just trying to either one, tune in on the conversation, or maybe they're falling asleep, or maybe they're finding reasons to get out of the meetings? Like, what is it that makes a company's culture? Well, I was watching the news on September 15th, and I love watching CBS News because I absolutely love Gail and the gang, and like, they are always just the realest for me. And when I was watching the news, they did a story all on Gravity Payments. Gravity Payments is a credit card processing company, and I think that they have just made it so big during the most tremendous time in our life, our world, right now with the pandemic, on how their company culture is. So the first thing that really caught my attention with this organization is that the CEO did not want to like lay anyone off during the whole pandemic. And he, even before the pandemic, he had already known that he had this group of folks. I'm pretty sure in his mind he was thinking, my company is going to grow, da, da, da. But regardless of where his company was, he made it in his mind to say, I'm going to make sure that all of my employees get paid a minimum of $70,000 per year. Regardless if you are the receptionist, all the way to whomever, like everyone gets a minimum of $70,000. It was so nice to hear the employees say, well, yeah, he doubled my salary or it really made my house you know, feel a little bit more comfortable because we didn't have to struggle or think about how bills were being paid. This company, to my knowledge, is in California. I probably should have done my research like ahead of time and make sure I had known. But y'all look up Gravity Payments, right? <laughs> and I'm going to try my hardest to put a link down to the company page in the description box. But the greatest thing that I thought was so awesome about Gravity Payments is not just that you found a minimum salary that you want to pay your employees. To fit this minimum salary, he took a million dollars off of the money that he takes home. His revenue, his salary, what have you. So that all of his staff can get a minimum of $70,000. To me, it wasn't the salary. It was more so the employees' responses to the changes it made in their lives. So one couple that works for them, both husband and wife work at Gravity Payments, were like, listen, now we were able to finally have a baby because we could afford daycare. You had another family that said, well, now I can actually go and visit my family more often because during the pandemic, I really was homesick. But to hear people say, now I can have a better quality of life. Now I can truly do things we've been wanting to do. I mean, so many of his employees were saying how they can now afford to buy a house just because their salary increased. And I think that's huge because when you're able to say, thank goodness for my job, it gave back to me in a tremendous way. That makes employees feel so committed to the organization. That makes them feel so valued. That makes the productivity higher. And guess what? This man ended up going through the pandemic where he did lose some money. I think that he said he was down to like 55% of his revenue that he normally gets. And then after he was done with the pandemic, money increased his employee staff increase. I mean, it's crazy because you know what, when you do good and you plant good seeds, you do nothing except soar good fruit. And I think that was a prime example of what a company's culture is like. And guess what? The story got even better, y'all. The employees were so happy about their CEO. They felt like he was always a part of the team, always working hard, always looking out for them. They guess what they did back for him. They all put together and bought his dream car. I wanted to announce today is um, effective immediately. We're going to put a scale policy in place, and we're going to have a minimum uh, seventy thousand dollar pay rate for all the members here. My name is Alyssa O'Neill. I work in support, and I've been here for two years and four months. You know, we we kind of just sitting there, me and being one other person, and kind of think of these crazy ideas of, of ways we can kind of thank Dan and. <laughs> found the one thing that he really talks about a lot of loves and how the idea of the Tesla came up. I'm really nervous, but I'm really, really excited because I know the, the hardest part is just making sure I don't slip up before I actually sees it. I got the keys today and I was like trying to like low key like take a picture of it in my hand and then like three people walked up behind me and I <laughs> quickly put it in my desk. It's been it's been hard. Oh, but I'm not over you. I'm not over you. Made you fall for more, but I'm so close to you. I'm so close to you. Gotta get that back like I'm supposed to.
supposed to do. Had to rush that re up, cause I'm overdue. I like getting money, I got time to get it. Talking on me, so my car's a tenant. Dancing with the devil, I don't buy. You might not know how to take it. You might be a little concerned about what other people, you know, outside of gravity are gonna say. Think about it happening so soon, about 10 minutes. Definitely starting to sweat. <laughs> oh, but I'm not over you. I'm not over you. Maybe five more, but I'm still close to He had told them that he wanted a Tesla and they all put it together and gave him this car totally free, no car payments or anything. I mean, that is obviously physical forms of gratitude, but imagine if they all took out their salaries to buy him a car, imagine how much work they're doing. Imagine how much, they're, how I'm pretty sure perfect their attendance is. Imagine how much their customer service is like through the roof. If you're just happy and you come to work happy every day and you find nothing but good reasons to just enjoy work, you never feel like you're working and you just dive into, it, it no longer becomes work, it's all passion. Like, let's be real. It's no longer work, it's passion. And I thought that that was so, so huge. So let's see. So some of the things, I'm going to just tell you guys, some of the notes I jot down just during this brief, like, new session is that the ceo he though he wanted and he started this in 2015 of making sure that everyone made a minimum of seventy thousand. so he took a one million dollar pay cut he had a second home he sold that second home and for a period of time he lived off of his savings so his results that he got from it i just told y'all some stuff i could just remember but let me tell y'all what the notes i wrote down so he got 55% business cut during the pandemic and his employees took a pay cut. And then when they took that pay cut and they were able to recover their revenue, he, the CEO of Gravity Payments, paid all the employees back the money that they lost during the time that they couldn't make a full salary. That to me was huge. I mean, so many companies are like, okay, well, we're good. You took a loss, but you're okay. You didn't die. He took the time to calculate those funds and give it back to his employees. So I already told you that employees are able to buy homes, they're able to have babies, and they bought them a car. So I just thought that was super duper crazy. And I want to start doing this thing where I make sure that shocking stories in HR I share with you guys. I get it. I'm, I'm a bit of an HR nerd. I pay attention to everything HR. I watch like news things that make me think about HR. I'm like, oh my God, that's like this, that's this, that's that. It just, I, I eat and breathe HR. I really do enjoy it. And that story for me truly, truly stuck out. So if you find a company and you're really worried about making sure you make it in that company, that your career grows, that you're able to flourish, that you're able to do well, make sure that during that interview, you prepare questions all on the company's culture and that you truly dive into what that company's culture is like. Google them, look them up on Glassdoor, look them up on LinkedIn, look on a company website. I mean, follow their company or their employees all on LinkedIn so you can get a full view of a company as best as you can. And you can even research culture-related questions so you know what to ask during that interview. The same way that that company is trying to pick you, you're trying to pick that company. So thank you guys so much for tuning in to another HR video. Y'all, I just appreciate the support. If there's anything that I miss, you guys let me know. But if you have already like watched my videos like multiple times over and over again and you haven't subscribed yet, this is a good time to go ahead and hit subscribe. And in all of my videos in the bottom left corner, should be around in this area, you guys see a big subscribe button. You can hit that and automatically subscribe or you can just wait until the video's over and click subscribe at the bottom. Definitely hit the bell. No need to just hit, you know, personalize. Hit all. Okay? All right. <laughs> Anyhow, thank you so much. Can't wait to see y'all on the next one. Oh, but I'm not over you. I'm not over you.
you fall for more, but I'm so close to you. Gotta get that back like I'm supposed to do. Had to rush that re-up, cause I'm overdue. I like getting money, I got time to get it. Target on me.